So let's speak about inflation a little bit, which I think is perfectly attuned to this week uh, with CPI numbers coming out on Thursday from the United States. It's going to be reported at 8.30 a.m. U.S. Eastern. If you're not familiar, uh, usually that is the time that CPI numbers will come out. And let's pivot and take a look at that together. So if we go to tomorrow, which is Thursday's CPI numbers, the market is looking ahead to this big time. This is a really important metric coming out this month. And if we take a look at CPI, uh, we are expecting year over year inflation to basically reach 8.1%. Previously, is that it was at 8.3%. The Federal Reserve is looking for this number to come down. They need this number to come down. Their whole point with interest rate hikes is to try and get in front of that inflation and to sort of stunt growth and stunt price rises a little bit uh, in order to, to stabilize inflation. So if you are looking at the dollar, right, if inflation numbers come out higher than expected, and this is something that I think is really important, if we come out at, for example, 8.3%, likely what will happen is the dollar will actually go up, which sounds a little bit weird, but let me break it down in a really simple educational format the best I possibly can. If interest rates, or sorry, if inflation numbers come out high, the Fed has a problem. They need to be more aggressive in order to combat that inflation. So think about it. Higher interest rates are more likely to come down the pipeline, which does what to the dollar? It raises interest. Uh, it raises the, the value of the dollar, right? Because higher interest rates make the bonds of that country more attractive. It makes foreign investment more attractive. And it stunts growth, which makes recession fear even more likely, which causes the dollar to become more attractive as it is the safe haven currency of the world right now. So what about the flip side? What about if we came out at 8% or 7.9%? What would that do to the dollar? And perhaps as well the equities markets and other key markets. Well, if 8% comes in, if we're actually on target or even better than our expectations from the Federal Reserve, that could cause the dollar to tumble as people say, okay, things are calming down and maybe I can take money out of the dollar and go towards the pound, go towards the stock market, go towards other assets, right? And so the market's key uh, metric that it's focused on, I would say that this is your most important number for the week. This number will probably cause some major movements on dollar crosses, equity crosses, or equity charts like the US 30, right, the NAS 100. Uh, it will cause those charts to spike uh, dramatically if there's any unexpected number here. Now, if it comes out as forecasted, it could probably just spike both ways and be relatively uninteresting. Um, but that's kind of where we're at and why we need to focus on some of the dollar crosses prior to that. So I mentioned that if we get some spikes, overall, the story for dollar bullishness is still strong. And in my opinion, most dollar crosses, I'm going to continue to be uh, to be bearish on other currencies, bullish on the dollar until something dramatically changes.